I'm Joe Chilly. You can join me mornings on the Big Weck. And joining us on the Big Weck Buffalo on the Rise today is Mark Andel from the Made in America store. Mark, Hi. how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you for having me. Good to see you. I feel that there should be flags waving behind you <laughs> as, we're, <laughs> as we're talking. Tell me how the uh, Made in America store started. Yeah, so I own General Welding and Fabricating. Uh, you know, long story short, my parents grew up poor. My dad taught me how to work with my hands. but. Uh, I uh, built General Welding up from 1989 to 2007, 70 employees, 18 family members, and three guys I went to kindergarten with, and uh, we were doing well, but we uh, hit a bump in the road in 2007, uh, making a steel post that went inside plastic fencing, and that post, uh, I was doing real well with it, half our business, but our customer wanted more money out of it. They said they had a place in uh, Florida to manufacture it. It was in Florida, it was China. China shipped the port, you know, mm -hmm. part to uh, Florida. And shipped it back up to Western New York, took apart, you know, took over my six regional support centers. So, the rest was history. I, I was spiraling out, laid off 40 of my 70 employees, uh, brother-in-laws, family members. Uh, by 2010, uh, only had two of the four plants left, and uh, I said, "We got to make a statement. I want to open a Made in America store, make a statement for our country, soldier, American worker, people that work with their hands." So, basically, you were fostering jobs in America. You were seeing that jobs were being sent wherever they might be. China Absolutely. probably the first place people think of Absolutely. now. Because everything you pick up, you know, you know, little tokens made in China, made in China, made yeah. in China. So you wanted to do this. So everything is strictly made in America now? Yeah, ev everything. We have 14,100% made in America products. We have a vetting system that has three letters of authenticity to get in our store. Uh, we support 500 privately owned American businesses. Not one business is a, or a vendor or manufacturer is publicly traded. And that's sad. I tell people we've been to the moon, but we can't make a toaster. I have nothing that plugs in or <laughs> takes a battery. But uh, a lot of mom and pops. Uh, I started out of a garage. I said every American house should have a garage. We support entrepreneurs and inventors. You know, you make me laugh because I think of the, uh, I think of the space program and I think yeah. them, you know, you know, you're out there millions of miles away from the earth and you're, you're <laughs> relying on the lowest bidder. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> right. So, yeah. That works out. So tell us about some of the uh, products that you do offer. Yeah, so we've got 14,100% products, uh, clothing, um, you know, flags, of course, and a lot of people don't realize 50% of our American flags are made overseas, and I think that's something we can all agree on, that our flag should be made here. Uh, we have food products. Uh, a lot of people won't realize we added 100 food, food products this year, making sure our food products are 100% made in America. We've got signs, uh, dog food, cat food, uh, Johnny Ryan Pop, Yingling Beer, oldest brewery in the country. You name it, we've kind of got it. It's a one-stop shop now. How do you vet all these things to make yeah. sure that they're made in America? Very, do you have a staff that does that? Very hard. Uh, so yeah, we have a staff and every product coming in, you have to fill out three letters of authenticity. The books uh, are, are six inches thick. We've got many of them, all the three letters and all the ones that are proven to get into our store or qualified to get into our store. That's what got me a lot of attention, World News, Fox and Friends, uh, international interviews, um, because we are so thorough with this process. And uh, we basically done the work for all the customers coming. If you come to our store, all the work's been done for you. Even the fixtures, uh, we represent skilled trades outside. You'll see stainless steel columns made by me and my team, all TIG welded by hand. We support the concrete guys, the bricklayers, the sheet metal guys. We support skilled trades. Uh, I want metal shops, wood shops back in schools. That's kind of my drive. Do you get any kind of negative feedback? I mean, I, I would think that, you know, everybody's rah, 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 you know, made yeah. in America. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you get any negative feedback that you have to deal with from people? Yeah, I used to get calls. Why are you doing this? You know, why is this so important? I said, well, it's, uh, you know, we're made in America as, uh, you know, that can-do spirit. Uh, it's how American was built, even from George Washington, first suit, to Abraham Lincoln, he got the railroad car trains and the tracks made here. So it's, yeah, people uh, were wondering what we're about. We've got to make Made in America important. When they had such the pandemic, uh, we didn't need shipping containers because our products come all within the United States. What about your home base of operation? Is it here in Buffalo? Yeah, yeah. So we're based, uh, General Welding and Fabricating is my parent company, uh, second floor, Sue Shotwell and the whole team are based there. We've got the brick and mortar stores at 1000 West Maple Court, uh, 18,000 square foot facility. And a lot of people don't realize uh, we got a distribution center. So we've got a store and store or a wholesale leg that if you want product in your existing store, we'll help you manage your inventory. We'll sell your products that are 100% made in America. And uh, we got madeinamericastore.com, our website. And we also have tour buses coming in. You started to say something about tour buses. And, and, and people are coming, tourists are coming in to shop in your store? Yeah, yeah. So the first bus got stuck on the bushes in front of my old store. 
And, uh, you know, I said, where are you from? He said, Iowa, you know, uh, we're from the breadbasket of America. We love what you're doing. So we're going to, or we just hit uh, 1,200 buses. And uh, Dorothy Fortney and our team, uh, you know, we, we became great work with Leah, Buffalo Visit, Niagara. We're a true destination. They come to see a Niagara Falls and they come to see a Made in America store. The only store in the world that sells 100% Made in America products. So do you uh, franchise this? I mean, is there an opportunity to go other places in the United States? I mean, yeah. America is a big place. Yeah, yeah, I'm asked to go in every state. Our, we've got 500,000 followers, and uh, they love the store. We support veterans. I'd like to mention we're home base for Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight. Tom Petrie and his team does a great job. Our goal is to get two flights of heroes to Washington every year. Yeah. And we're all, also for Gold Star Mothers. We gave them a place to have their meetings monthly and uh, do as much as we can for our veterans. They get 10% always at my stores. So you talked about brick and mortar, uh, and that's great, but what about online? You said you do have a website. Do you sell online? Are all your products available online? Yeah, madeinamericastore.com. Uh, we've got uh, almost 14,100% products online. We've shipped around the world, so that's available. Uh, for store and store, you can go to their website also. We've got a wholesale uh, website too, where if you're uh, you know, another retailer, another store you want to get products from us, you can go on and we give you a code once you're signed up. And give us some of the locations here in the western New York area where uh, you are. Yeah, for Made in America, we're 1000 West Maple Court, Alma, New York, uh, McKinley Mall, my son Brian runs it, and then uh, One Niagara Falls, second floor right in front of the falls, uh, you can go up the uh, escalators and uh, we've got the Made in America store there. So it's kind of like a family business as well? Yeah, a lot of family, a lot of family. My uh, daughter just turned 21. Jessica's involved. They've all been involved. Uh, yeah, a lot of family and, uh, you know, a lot of uh, great team. I just want, I can't say enough for my team. And, uh, and a lot of clothing worn uh, from your store around your house. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm 100% right. The underwear, <laughs> the boots. People are checking me out all the time. <laughs> Mark Andel, Made in America store. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. For more information and answers to your questions, contact Made in America by calling 716-652-0024 or go to madeinamericastore.com. Sponsorship and promotional consideration for the preceding segment was provided by the following.